Hey everybody, it's who else but Audi, and welcome back to more Luigi's Mansion in the last episode. We finished off Area 3, and also, well, Beat Blue Losses got a silver rank, and captured some more booze. And in this episode, we're going to Area 4, but before we go to Area 4, uh-huh, we want to go back to where we faced off Bogmire for the first time. Trust me, you want to do this. So what we're going to do is suck up right here. Get this. I, I said get it. And let's go outside over here. And you see this plant is looking a little bit wilted. Let's water it to see what happens. Okay, and it spits out a crap load of cash and a gold diamond. That is by far the most plentiful money, plentiful diamond in the game. One, there's only two of them in the game. One of those is worth 25 million gold. You want those. Um, there's only two in the entire game, like I said. Um, the second one is obtained, spoiler alert, by catching all 50 of the booze. You only need 40 to finish the game, 45 if you're playing the European version. But you want to get those because that'll basically... That's basically just one-fourth of the game's completion. So yeah. Very, very, very crucial to get that. Anyways, now that I'm done explaining how crucial that is, let's go to Area 4, which, um, I don't know if you saw it, but when we were fighting Bulosis, um, there was a door on the other side when we were watering those plants. That is the door to Area 4, and I keep rhyming. Wow. Anyways, you just want to go in here. You just want to go over here. Come on. Let's -a go. And. What's this? Some lightning. Criminy, what a calamity! The elect the electricity has gone out. The lightning strike must have caused the blackout. I can't see anything in this blasted darkness. The ghost will have the run of the place in the dark. Be careful, Luigi. So what he says there is that there's gonna be a bunch of ghosts spawning in. Now, not only is this pre a really annoying part of the game, but uh, this is the point in the game where you want to get all the speedy spirits that you have not uncovered. And also golden mice. Now, there's actually three speedy spirits that only spawn in the blackout, and I'm going to be getting all of them. I'm going to be cutting ahead to get all three of them, so I'll pause the recording right here and uh, meet you guys in Melody's room. All right, and we're back in Melody's room. Now, what you want to do is, uh, first of all, you want to capture all the ghosts. All right. Come on. Come on. <sighs> okay, yeah, they are doing a lot of damage to me. All right, after die. Okay, they got they dropped hearts because I really need them. Wow, I am not doing good. There we go, gotcha. All right, now what you want to do is uh, point your flashlight up, check the chair, and suck away. Well, that is Speedy Spirit number one of three. I will pause the recording and get the other two. Okay, now here, 
Uh, this is, you want to go where we fought uh, Shivers the Butler in, back in Area 2. And you want to have some fire element because you want to take out these uh, Flash. Uh, trust me, it'll make your life so much easier. And you know what? Yeah, I kind of just got lazy. I didn't want to deal with that. Anyways, what you want to do is check here. Go in the mouse hole. And there's a bunch of blue twirlers and a grabber ghost. Want, oh, yeah, there's a bunch of bats. You're going to want to get them, too. Ah, uh, uh, got it. Oh, dang it. Come on. Okay, got one. Dang it. All right. Freaking grabber ghost. Okay. You want to be very careful not to open the chest all the way on the right. And you want to be very careful not to die too. Oh yeah. You actually want to be very careful not to die because if you do die, uh, there's no, uh, you can't save during the blackout because toads are gone. So, wow. So you want to be very, very careful. All right, come on, come on, come on. Gotcha. All right, now that all those ghosts are gone, I want to check this chest, and there was nothing in there before, but now there's a speedy spirit. Ba -ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Just checking. And I will go ahead and pause the recording uh, to get the last Speedy Spirit that is uh, specific to the blackout. Alright, sorry for all the cuts, but I really just don't want to be walking around the entire mansion every time. And I went to the wrong room, I went to the wrong room. Yeah, I just don't want to be walking around because I'd have nothing to talk about. Anyways, uh, just like always, you want to take out the boatload of ghosts that you're going to meet here. Christ, uh, oh god, oh god, oh god, okay, 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 after die, ha, ah. oh yeah, you really, you really want to be careful not to do anything with the crib, because as you know, the crib is where the speedy spirit is hiding, come on, after die, ha, ha, gotcha, and now, want to point your flashlight up, and get him! Gotcha! And I thought he th uh, dropped a ruby, but no, that's just a heart. Anyway, I'm gonna get that. And now, uh, to what we actually have to do to get out of the blackout. Now, what you want to do is go to the wardrobe room. So if you missed that first Speedy Spirit in the wardrobe room that we got in episode 1, well, or 2, I should say, well, you're kind of screwed because I don't think that one will uncover. Um... But you want to uh, go to the wardrobe room and avoid the hell out of all these gold ghosts and all those and that one and open the door. Okay, good. Okay, this is possibly one of the easiest portrait ghosts ever next to Madame Clavoria. Just turn around, wait till he does a little boo thing. Ooh, come on. Ooh, got him. All right. Yeah, he does it just like Madame Clavoria. He really doesn't do much to resist. You shouldn't really miss the uh, big pro on him. I don't, even, I don't even think he drops poison mushrooms either. Oh, nope, he does. All right. Well, got it. And jeez. And again with the poison mushroom. Yeah, I'm pressing A all over this chest and you can't check it because I'm small and key. Aha. And that unlocks the breaker room. So what we want to do is uh, we want to go back down to the basement of the mansion and oh my, oh me. Okay, good. 
Jeez. Okay, go, 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 and now go through the door. I don't know why I wasn't going through the door earlier. Anyways. What we want to do. Is. Go over here. Down to where we got that speedy spirit in episode 3 I believe. Uh, by the way, if you check the table, no, he will not be there. Uh, the latest possible time that you can get him is before the blackout. So you do not want to get him, uh, right now. Anyways, you want to check this chest and key. That, uh, puts a key over there. And there's also a boo in here. Now, these boos... Are ridiculous booby hatch yeah um, that boo will almost always go over there all right so sorry for the jump cut anyway that boo will almost always go into that room which basically just uh, screws you over and you can't get it for like another two areas so yeah anyways you want to check the box here and another speedy spirit yeah all right, got this, got that. Okay, now you want to check these barrels because that's where the ghosts are hiding. Come on. Gotcha. All right, I uh, want to be careful with the floor because there's also panels that'll turn you upside down. Come on. Gotcha, 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 gotcha. All right. And another key. But first, let's see. Come on. Ah, blue ball. It is I, Fair Boo Rippies. And I am not doing it right. Crap. All right. Let's go over here. All right, let's go over here. Come on, get away. Okay, now 71 HP. You want to get it back in there? Okay, good. Good, 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 good. It's back in there. Okay, now, come on, 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 come on. Okay, 33. No. Dang it. God, okay, fine. Get that boo later. Come on. Okay. Key. Which goes all the way back up to the roof. Yeah, we have to walk from the roof all the way from down here. Anyways, I guess I'm going to cut one more time because I don't want to waste all that time. We're just walking up there. Anyways, uh, I'll see you guys on the roof. All right. Back up to the roof where we were before the blackout happened what you want to do now is go to this door and now we can go through it now area four there's a lot of fake doors in this area so you want to be very careful uh, you want to go to this room this is an optional room you do not have to clear it but of course I am because why not anyways what you want to do to clear it, you want to check these chests, and there's going to be Mr. Bones. Come on. Come on. Okay, you want to check that, that's a bunch of money. And you check this, and then that's another Mr. Bones. Gotcha! All right, and like always, a boo. Yep, a boo. But this 
ladies and gentlemen, is where the boos start getting ridiculous. They have 300 HP, and then there's these huge rooms where you can easily lose them. And since the hallways are very slim, uh, they could easily go into other rooms that you cannot access yet, which is very, very annoying. What is going to happen right here, isn't it? Yep. Yep. Called it. Knew it. Called it. Knew it. Called it. Knew it. Called it. Knew it. All right. Uh, this is why I hate catching booze late game, because they always, always, always do this. But, luckily, if they go into a room and that you cannot access, you just have to clear that room when you can access it. And then they'll just show up alongside another one. Alright, now. This boss could be very, very difficult if you... Well, hey, well it's still a little tricky for me. Anyways, what you want to do is check all the clocks. And they play the Luigi's Mansion tune. Uh... There we go. And as soon as we check all the clocks, we can fight them. Now, what you want to do is suck off their, like, little key thing that makes them spin around. And you want to start sucking them up. You do not want to go for the blue one. The blue one is the last one you want to go for because that's the one that drops the pearls. Uh, these are the toy soldiers. Um, they can be a little tough, but as long as you just... Stay out of the other's way. It shouldn't be too difficult. Uh, that is really hard to do, however, since they have ranged attacks, unlike most ghosts. Because, as you can see, they have their little, like, pop, co pop cork guns. And, oh, crap. Uh, we want to be careful, because, yeah. Like I said, you do not want to go for the blue one. Always, always, always go for the blue one last. Because the blue one is the one that drops the pearls. And I'm getting a silver rank. Well, actually, no. If I do get the big pearl, it actually nullifies how much damage I took and gives me the gold rank. So as long as I get the big pearl, I'm good. But if I don't, then I'm screwed. Come on. Okay, got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Gotcha. All right. Now what we want to do is go for the blue one last. Come on. Come on. We can't lose grip now, Luigi. Come on. Oh god, no, 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 I let go of the joystick. I might lose grip. Crap. Yep, uh, I'm getting a silver rank. And I'm losing a big pearl. And I got a poison mushroom. Just wonderful. <sighs> well, missed two big pearls altogether. <clears throat> Just die after die. Get inside the vacuum. All right. Now that we got him. Uh, hello. Uh, boo. There you go. It's time for the six o'clock booze. Now this actually has a funny uh, mistranslation in this version. Because. God dang it. Okay. Swear. Uh, sorry, it's just really, really bad catching booze in Area 4. Anyways, if you actually lose them in, as you all know, uh, booze repeat their name whenever you lose them in a room that you can not access. Whenever they hide again, they actually uh, repeat their name if you find them again. Uh, the 6 o'clock booze is the only boo that I know of that has a mistranslation error in the English version. Um, because I believe in Japan he's called Boozecaster. I... I think that's why it is. Because if you lose him in another room and uncover him again, he says his name is Boozecaster instead of the 6 o'clock booze. Which is, a, again, a translation error. I think it's in Japanese. I have no idea. But yeah, it's kind of a neat thing. So yeah, he's either... He's both uh, 6 o'clock booze and Boozecaster. Anyways, uh, there's more Shy Guy ghosts. Um, that we want to take out. We want to go up here where the clock thing opened. Come on, get him. All right. After die! Ha! Come on. Gotcha! All right. 
Uh, dang it, I thought I got the other guy too, but alright. Come on. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez. Yeah, I want to be very careful with the shy guys again. Come on. Gotcha. Okay, now let's do this. Come on. Ah, dang it. Can never get two at the same time anymore. Jeez. Come on. Gotcha. All right, now we want to wait. And there's going to be a bunch of flash now. Yeah. Come on. Uh, get you. Two for the price of one, Grandma. Ha-ha. <laughs> gotcha. And that lights up the place. Now, uh, chest is going to spawn on top of this chimney. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. And now we get this key, and that's all fine and good, but there's actually a secret up here. Okay, yeah, we see where that goes. That actually goes to where the booze got lost. But anyways, uh, there's actually a secret up here. If you go to the other side of this roof, and there's symmetry, so there's going to be another chimney. Now, you go up this ladder. Uh, come on. Hey, come on. All right. You walk off and fall. And, wow, that's a bad falling animation. Anyways, let's see if I get it. No. Uh, this is the secret treasure room. Now, this has a very, very jerkish golden mice. That every time you fall down here and walk out of that uh, fireplace, um, there's a 1 in 5 chance that a golden mice will appear. Now, this one I'm not going to go for. One, because he doesn't have any jewels. And two, because it's just utter ridiculous. Because uh, the only way out of here... Um, I don't think I've explained this mechanic anyways yet. Uh, there's a speedy spear in that chest, though. Uh, you want to be careful for that. All 10 emeralds. There's 10 of each gem, by the way. So, yeah. I'm going to be try going for all 10 of them. I think that's the last speedy spirit of the game. Same with the golden mouse. Last golden mouse of the game. So... The next few should be easy. Anyways, uh, I don't think I've shown this mechanic as where if you scan this thing, uh, if you scan the mirror with your Game Boy Horror, it actually takes you back to the sun panel in the, fo in the foyer, or the foyer. And that is the only way out of here. And if you want that golden mouse, you have to go from the bottom all the way to the top repeatedly until you get it. And that is why... I am not going for that golden mouse because I do not want to waste my time going for a mouse that doesn't even have a jewel. So yeah, I guess I'm technically not going for 100%, but again, that mouse is just utterly ridiculous the way you get it. So yeah. Anyways, there's a bunch of ghosts that spawn in through that chest, so you want to get all of them because you actually get something very, very good. Come on. Come on. Where's the purple bomber? Oh, there you are. Gotcha! And now, you get Z's chest. And you get a key. Now, this is not required to do. You do not need to do this at all if you're just going through a casual playthrough. Uh, that opens up a door in Area 3 that we never got to open. Uh... I guess that's where, we're, where we'll end the episode off, so yeah, let's go do that. Um, come on. Uh, come on, I want to see if there's something in that chimney. Can I see if there's something in that chimney? Alright, I don't think there's anything in that chimney. Alright, there's a lot of money in this room, so you're going to want to get open all the chests. Are you sure there's nothing in there? Come on. All right, fine. There's nothing in there, whatever. But yeah, you're going to want to open all these chests because they have a crap load of money. I am actually very proud of myself. I think I've gotten all, all the speedy spirits in the game, which that is not something I see in my runs every day. I usually miss a few, but hey, I guess I got lucky this round.
All right, um, now that we're done, I guess I'll show you since I've never done it on camera. You want to check this. And. Bam. Yeah, you get back over here. Now, I guess we'll end the episode off doing a optional boss ghost because, spoiler alert, that key leads us to an optional boss ghost. So, let's a go. All right, come on. I admittedly, I should have probably cut this out, but I'm already almost there, so there's no need for it. <laughs> oh, by the way, the sealed room is just beyond this. Yeah, so this is right here past this wall is the room we were just in. And for some reason, it goes all dark. And now here and here it is dark, so as an excuse. Um, what you want to do is get some fire element and uh, light those candles, and then a bunch of gold ghosts spawn in. Uh, wow! Come on, come on! There we go. Five for the price of one, Grandpa. Uh, even numbers are Grandma, odd numbers are Grandpa. All right. Uh, you wanna wanna put f a water on these temper terrors and. Freaking temper terrors. And I accidentally killed the one without even trying to. Alright. And wouldn't you know it, there's a boo in here. Oh, come on. Come on. I am Boo Livia. I hate you. Well, I hate you too. And every single one of your kind. And especially even more when you go through walls instead of letting me catch you. Okay, I think it can actually go into the sealed room, so you want to be very, very, very careful of that. Come on. Get... It has zero HP! There we go! <laughs> it was just stuck, like, on the chair with zero HP. That was hilarious. Lemon Ba, he says. Anyways, you want to suck up this water in this jar, because uh, we're going to need it for later. Anyways, want to water this plant, get a gold bar, a gold bar. Anyway, go through here. Do not try to wake me. Go away! Meet Sue P, possibly a seven-year-old who was killed in her sleep. Yeah, that's actually the description she has in her in her bio, which is pretty dark for Nintendo standards. But anyways, what you want to do is spray water on her. Basically, you're giving her a cold. She says. And then, come on. Snurg. Now, what you want to do is flash her, but don't start sucking her up. Instead... Go after these clown dolls first, because that'll make your life a lot easier to get the big pearl. Um, because those clown dolls will infinitely respawn if you don't suck them up. And will start attacking you every um, while you're uh, sucking up soupy. So, yeah, you want to be very careful. And oh my gosh, can I not screw this up? Wow! Okay, fine then. Okay, oh, and I'm getting a silver rank, too, because I have under 90 HP. Well, screw you two, game. Come on, gotcha. All right, basically, now that we've defeated her, you want to know how, if you want to know, actually, I think we can water this plant. Uh, no, we can't. But if you want to know how to return the room back to normal, you just want to leave. And then we go back in. And then we collect all the moolah. Uh, the boo is probably the last thing I want to get just because I want to save the game. After this. <laughs> Alright, get all this, get all these. Come on. Uh, you want to water that plant back there because it's going to give you a sapphire. Which, very, very, very good. Ah, da, 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 da. Anyways, check this. 
I am the lovely Boonita. I cannot relate to you because Boonita means beautiful in, in Spanish. Yeah. Uh, can I get you in this room? Oh my god, I got it. Yes. Well, with that nice boo catch in hand and missing two big pearls on two portrait ghosts and getting two um, silver ranks. I'm going to end this off here. Next time on Luigi's Mansion, we will continue on with Area 4 and possibly finish Area 4. See you guys then.